Hey guys, Paul James here coming at you with another video. Feeling kind of sick today. I uh, came down with a cold, I think yesterday or the day before. So I'm like super congested, but it's not too bad. I'm still trying to work and stuff and just kind of trying to hang low at the house and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, I wanted to shoot this video for you because I was thinking about um, an easy service that you could provide to business owners if you need cash fast and if you want something to sell that doesn't really take much experience or much work. So first off, um, there's this update here on Google's website. You can go check it out. But I, wanna, I wanted to point this out to you here. Um, so here, here it is. This change will affect mobile searches and have a significant impact in Google search results. Okay? because Google search will be expanding its use of mobile friend friendliness as a ranking signal. So there's a lot of business owners out there who still haven't gone and got their website mobile friendly, and because they haven't, it's hurting their rankings, and they're at risk for potentially losing out on a lot of business because not only was it important already, because a lot of people, if, if they uh, have someone search for their company and then they... Um, land on their website and it's not mobile friendly and, and they're not able to find the phone number and stuff they're losing out on business but now Google has pointed out that it's actually affecting their ranking so here's here's how you can actually check this out so if you come up here I'm putting this onto the screen and I've got an example here um, in a city near me in Milwaukee which is about 30 minutes from me if you were to grab like a website URL here from a company in the city you're targeting and you come to this website it's a uh, it's Google Developers. This is Google's actual um, company site, and it's under Webmaster Tools, and it's called the Mobile Friendly Test. You can actually just go to Google and type in Google Mobile Friendly Test, and you'll get this URL. But you can literally stick the URL of the site that you want to analyze and punch it in here, and it'll spit out a nice looking report for you to tell you whether or not it fails or passes their their standard test or whatever. So let's let this finish analyzing. Now, my point is is that you can really use this as a nice sales tool if you wanted to show the business owner that you're targeting, you know, hey, look, this isn't this isn't my doing, but Google says you're not mobile friendly, and then you can show them that article um, and you can kind of use that uh, that fear to get them to purchase a mobile friendly website from you. Maybe not even a mobile friendly website, you could go as far as to sell them a whole new site, you know, a responsive site. So it just depends on which way you want to approach it. Now, I recommend the mobile friendly sites rather than touching their existing site just because it's really easy. And if you don't know how to, to build out a mobile friendly site, I've actually got some free training up. I'll give you access to it for free just for being an awesome subscriber. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, you should definitely do that. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on this video, and I'd love to hear from you in the comment section as well because uh, I always appreciate that. So this is MobileSiteTutorial.com and as you can see, this will teach you how to spit out sites that look really good like this for companies that don't have mobile sites like, like I just showed you in a matter of, I don't know, 15 minutes maybe, you can pump one of these out. So it's pretty cool and, and my free training walks you through that. Absolutely no catch. You don't even have to opt in to get this. Uh, you literally just go and log into the membership site and check it out. So yeah, pretty awesome. Now, how do you prospect? That's that's you, probably the next thing on your mind. How would you prospect something like this? What do you sell it for? And how can you like pump these out? So prospecting for this is pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how. As far as what to charge, we like to stick, depending on what our end goal is, and usually the end goal for my company is to use this as our foot in the door. And foot in the doors should, they kind of ride a very fine line of not too good to be true, but not too expensive to where they're not willing to take the risk on it. So we usually find that for foot in the door, right around $297 is, is a great price. Now you could really make a nice career out of even just selling these mobile friendly websites for $297. But if you were just going to go and just sell that, you could probably get away with $497, which we've had success at that price point as well. But like I said, 
Our end goal is to upsell them something else later. This is just our foot in the door. So we charge 297 and then later we come back in and we upsell them like a monthly SEO plan or something like that. Okay, so let me show you how we prospect because this is cool. So we built this tool called Mobile Lead Scout and I'm gonna show you how you can get this for free too at the end of this video once I'm finished showing you the demonstration of it. And Mobile Lead Scout is pretty awesome because it'll actually search through all the business owners in the location that you type in and for the keyword you type in and it'll tell you whether their website is mobile friendly or not and along with that it'll pull a bunch of other data. So let's just start scraping some results and show you what it looks like. So I want to target towing. Now I recommend targeting uh, things like towing, things like locksmiths, things like restaurants, hotels, anything where someone was is probably really likely to search on their phone because that's just an extra selling point too. I'm going to target the location Milwaukee, Wisconsin since we were using that as an example earlier. So I'll just type in Milwaukee WI and I'm going to hit start. Okay, so it's going to go out and it's going to pull all the business owners that it can find for towing in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it's going to start analyzing the data. So let me show you exactly what it's pulling. So in this column here, it's pulling the website or the, the business name, and then it's pulling the phone number for the business. So if you wanted to prospect via phone, you could do that. It's pulling the website, which this was the site we actually used as an example to show you the Google developer thing. It'll pull the email in a separate step if you want to do that. This mobile site column is the column you're most interested in. This is going to show you whether it's mobile friendly or not. Okay, So an NA means that it's not mobile friendly and a yes means that it is. So the yes ones aren't good candidates for us, but these two NAs that it pulled are good candidates. It's also going to pull up the address. So you could, what you could do is you could print off that report after you gather a whole list of these and you could print off the report straight from Google and send out some direct mail campaigns. And if you're going to do that, I recommend doing something with like a greeting size postcard with just a regular stamp and handwritten because that stands out. It's going to get open. They're going to think it's like a greeting card sent to them. So I'm going to stop this for now and then show you the second part. So you can actually export this if you want into a CSV file, but if you wanted to prospect via email, you'd want to hit this get email step next. And it's going to go through and try to pull emails for you. Now it's not perfect. It's not always going to find them. It's going to go and it's going to search through the website and some other data sources that we've integrated in it. And if it can find the email, it's going to list it like it did here and here. But if it can't, it's not going to show it. So it's... um. It's pretty cool. It, it's usually accurate about 50% of the time. It'll pull it 50% of the time it won't. So depending on how you want to prospect, you know, maybe the ones that pull emails, you'll prospect that way. And then the ones that don't, you'll send direct mail or, or phone call. It's up to you. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick this tool up, I've got it available for free. I was planning on launching it next year, actually. I had it all planned out to launch it next year. Um, but I'm giving it away for free to anyone who picks up this course called The Rich Jerk through my link. And the reason why I'm doing that is because The Rich Jerk is actually the course that got me started. And I wanted to kind of celebrate the relaunch of this course and uh, basically give this stuff away for free just as like an extra bonus for picking that course up through my link. So here's a link to pick up The Rich Jerk through my link. It's on the screen. Or you can click the link in the description. It'll be there too. And all you need to do is forward me your receipt to my email, paul at pauljames.com, and I will hook you up with a license of this software absolutely free. Again, you can't buy this software anywhere actually right now because it's just not for sale. Um, I was planning on launching it next year. Now that's not actually the only thing you're going to get as a bonus. Uh, this is actually pretty cool because I'm doing a couple of different bonuses. So let me show you the other bonus that I have worked out for you as well. So in addition to Mobile Lead Scout, you're also going to get my new WordPress theme called WP Local Buzz. Now WP Local Buzz is pretty awesome because it has an integrated visual editor, which means basically you can edit any of this text as you like just by like clicking on it and typing. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's kind of like lead pages or like click funnels. If you've seen if you've seen those kind of landing page builders, it kind of works like that, but it's devoted to local marketing because it has strong call to actions. It does something pretty cool with this form too. 
uh, we've integrated it so that it only shows a couple fields of the quote form, like it boosts conversions up. So you might want to ask a bunch of questions on your quote form, like maybe you want to ask if they're looking for service or installation or different questions like that. If you would put that whole entire quote form right on the site right away, you might lower your conversion rate. Whereas if you just show a few fields, it looks not as invasive to uh, the traffic coming in. You know, they, they might commit to filling out just a couple fields. So it helps boost conversions and it pretties it up because when you click on it and they start filling it out, it'll actually show the rest of the form. So that really helps things out quite a bit. Um, but it's all integrated really nicely. These icons are actually built right in the theme. So you can like search for a cell phone icon if you want and it'll put a picture of a cell phone. It's You can change all the colors out. It's got this cool testimonial slider. You just drag it around, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's got integrated Google Map down here, which we did in a different and unique way. So really awesome, all customizable, all the colors, the menu, all that stuff, customizable. So you're going to get that 100% free too. A lot of people have been asking me where they can buy this theme uh, separate. You can't. It's not for sale yet. Uh, like I said, I planned on launching it next year, but I decided to just give it away for free for picking up the Rich Jerk through my link. So um, you definitely should do that because it's well worth it, well worth what you'll pay for the rich jerk to get all these bonuses uh, for free. Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is PPC Press. It's my other WordPress theme, and this one is more for running AdWords and Facebook pay-per-click campaigns for lead gen. So the rich jerk has a lot to do with um, pay-per-click. Uh, there's a lot of talk about how to use that to make money, and a lot of the principles apply to lead generation and local marketing, which is why I wanted to throw in this theme. So this is, you can get this theme set up in about two minutes, okay? And the other one takes about 15 minutes if you really wanna get in and start customizing things. This theme, however, takes about two minutes and you'll be set up and good to go. So strong call to actions and it's got everything to be compliant with AdWords and Facebook so that you still have plenty of content on the page, but so that the content doesn't take away from actually generating the lead. So we turn this into a WordPress theme um, because it was converting well for us and I know it'll convert well for you too. All right guys, well that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video um, and let me know what you think. Like I said, leave a comment, pick up the rich jerk, uh, just a forewarning the sales letter. Some people are gonna find it really funny. Some people are gonna find it offensive. But um, just note that the actual content and the training inside of the Rich Jerk is just killer. It's uh, one of the best courses I've seen put out in a really long time. Uh, it's the course that got me started. So I've got nothing but good things to say about it because it just really changed my life. And I hope that you'll give it a shot too because I know in addition with my bonuses, it's going to absolutely make just a huge difference in your life. And it's just getting awesome, awesome feedback from everyone else who's already purchased it. Uh, so let me know what you think. If you have any questions, I am reachable. And thanks for stopping by.